graffiti artist, muralist, street artist. There's a lot of different names for what I do. I am painting a mural of Ava Gardner. This is her hometown. She's just an icon to a lot of people. She is my great grand aunt. This is our family history and our family legacy. And, and she was a, a huge part of that. She had the loudest voice and, and had the right message behind it. So it, it means a lot to us. As a person, the more I've learned about Ava Gardner, I admire the fact that she was almost a woman ahead of her time. She was extremely independent and just the kind of person that you think you would want to get to know. That's exactly how she was. When, when she would come home, she would rarely talk about work. She was just Aunt Ava to us, just a Southern girl that was in movies and on TV. This year is Ava's 100th birthday on Christmas Eve, 2022. And we wanted to do something big for her birthday. As you can imagine, there are tens of thousands of photos of Ava. And we started looking for pictures and trying, what story do we want to tell? So let's just sort of go through the trajectory of her life. She never felt like she deserved any of this, which is just a testament to her humility. If Ava saw this mural, she would be mortified. And she would all but have us com completely convinced to repaint it with five pictures of Morgan, her corgi. But she does deserve this. I get requested to do monochromatic black and white photos, uh, photorealism. I kind of fell in love with the timeless aspect of a black and white photo. If you just stand outside for a few minutes, you'll see people walking down the street or even driving and they kind of slow down. It's really cool to be able to contribute to each town I go to. This was corrugated metal before this and now it's gonna be, you know, a frequented landmark. I'm hoping that it'll bring a lot more visitors if they can see the mural and it can spark a little bit of interest in who she was as a person I think that would that would do the world a lot of good.